Conditionals, like if statements, are great for getting something to happen when a condition is true. But what if the condition is false and we want something else to happen? That's when the if-else statement comes in handy. At first, an if-else statement looks a lot like a regular if statement. But by clicking the plus button down here, we can add another condition, the else. The if-else statement will do one thing if the Boolean expression is true and will do something else if the Boolean is false. In this case, we're going to create a sprite in the middle of the screen. Next, we'll add a draw function, followed by a white background. Now, we'll add an if-else statement by dragging out the if block and clicking the little plus button to give us an else. Let's give the conditional something to check, like whether the right arrow button is being pressed. If the right arrow is being pressed, then the sprite will go right. But if the right button isn't being pressed, then the Boolean will be false and the code in the else section will run. In this case, it will move the sprite to the left. Finally, we'll draw the sprite and see what develops. Now that you can use the else statement, your programs can perform twice as many actions and reactions as before.